This is a disclaimer. What you are about to encounter is purely an opinion. Opinions are generally based on lived experiences and what we're about to encounter is my opinion based off of my lived experiences on whatever topic we're about to encounter, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this immediately and please, let's keep it civil. If you or anyone you know have been affected negatively by Mr. L. Boyd's personal opinion, please call 248-434-5508. <laughs> I'm aware of that, Corporal Clark. Yes, sir. That's good that you're aware, sir. It's only Do that... Do you think the woman's in attack? Now that white something... people have accustomed themselves to seeing men with guns fighting on their behalf, and now that they can tolerate just getting equal pay... Something tells me the guy in the back was probably in the house, guys. So I'm going to point that out. But listen, so I definitely like the way this scene looks. I love the backlighting of it. Like that beautiful like rim that's sitting in the back of all the, the actors here, guys. And then like, like a super soft, most likely a bulb or like a um, uh, like a Chinese lantern. I use a Chinese lantern to, to light me. If you see my catch light, it's like a circle. It's like a, a orb, right? Uh, it looks like that was probably used between um, the lead actor most likely here and the actor here. Uh, solid, guys. Let's get it. In a hundred years, the, the rhythms are amazing. Black and I cannot cut hair. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. The guy that's behind you is that type of person. He He's probably the, gonna be the person that's gonna be shining people's shoes. Uh, you, on the other hand, probably not. <laughs> okay, so right now, historically, they're pointing out um, something super interesting. Uh, Abraham uh, Lincoln was also called Abraham Africanus. Um, and the reason why he was called that was, uh, you know, because people, some people perceived him to be kind of like the rapper Drake. Um, someone who is, uh, someone who, who maybe can, can have the potential to pass for a different origin, let's say. Very racially ambiguous is what a lot, what some people called him. But a lot of it was, was, was odd in terms of like the rumors that were spread about him. A lot of it was from coming from the South and from like sympathizers from the North, like the Burrs and the Copperheads would basically put out pamphlets and things like that, calling him Abraham Africanus. Uh, they also had like these wild concerns that, uh, if Abraham Lincoln was to become president, for example, the reason why this started was because Abraham Lincoln became president. He was, for the most part, a moderate. You know, he didn't really have any interest in, like, the expansion of slavery. He really just uh, um, was was kind of against it, but not in the beginning. Keep that in mind. When he got elected, he was not fully against the concept of it. Uh, later on in life, um, he was, right? But, yeah, so anyway, so they called him Abraham Africanus. But those were from, again, the Southerners that were completely upset with his rise and the Northerners, as in the Burrs and the Copperheads, who were like, um, if he became president, what, what would he do? What would be what, what would become of the United States of America? What would it be? Um, what are, are we going to be called New Africa now? That's what he, that's what they used to say, guys. Um, the story of Lincoln is such an interesting one, guys. And so they're opening the movie by basically pointing out that very specific thing by referencing his hair. Um, and a couple of other things about him were also super interesting. Um, his mother is extremely questionable, guys. Uh, there's, there, I mean, there's been a couple of like, of like historians that have come out. I think J.A. Rogers is one of them um, that has been like, I don't know. Um, he may have some interesting things in his bloodline that even for this time, he may not have been considered fully of European descent, guys. Uh, like that one drop rule was a thing back then, guys. It's the, uh, the 116th uh, bloodline thing. Um, and by all, by, by that definition, if, if J.A. Rogers uh, um, was correct, even at this time, it, racially, he was questionable. Um, like he had darker skin than most people at, of the time. Um, his hair was also different at, at the time that you would perceive um, a European to have, right? Hence the reason why they're pointing it out here. Um, but all right, let's, let's get it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Guys, is everyone famous? Because so far, everyone that has spoken is famous. Yeah, and that was kind of another thing. Um, like at this time, it was extremely irregular for someone to just uh, speak to people that were that were visually different, right? Um, with any type of honor, right? And he didn't speak down to these uh, these these soldiers at all, regardless of the people the people's skin tone. And that was another thing that um, made people think that he was secretly black, guys, at the time, right? 
Um, yeah, and then, and also at the same time, obviously, the Copperheads put out a pamphlet, and that pamphlet was was pretty damning for the time, guys. It was, it, it was, guys. I'll show it to you. <laughs> but all right, let's get it. I think around the uh, around 1864, uh, the Thirteenth Amendment came somewhere around there. Ships. I reckon this is a speed that's strange to me. I'm used to going at a deliberate pace. Sally Fields? He wants to listen to a useless woman grouse about her carriage accident. I do. He does, Stuff. absolutely. Necessary hindrance. This was amazing casting. I know. For Lincoln. Why else would you force me to invite demented radicals into my home? Demented radicals. You're gonna try to get the amendment passed in the House of Representatives before the term ends? Don't waste that power on an amendment bill that's sure of defeat. Guys, this scene looks very good, but it's not true. Uh, but it looks very good. Um, I do well. Hmm. Twenty in twenty twelve, they definitely had the technology to kind of go a little lower. Uh, uh, in terms of like the overall exposure, no, not exposure, but the uh, they could have raised kind of the the ISO, basically, it's artificial light being used to influence light in the scene. They could have used a little bit of that, or not chosen that light. If you look really closely into her eye, you see like a small light right here. This light is artificial, and this is what's casting this light on her face. The amount of lumens that are being produced from these flames are not this and they're not actually white light it's going to be kind of yellow warm uh probably in a kelvin range of let's let's go up not down let's say um maybe like seven thousand two hundred something high like that guys something super yellow is what these lights are producing but for some reason the light on her face is like 5500 it's daylight they're using daylight bulbs for the movie to look so good and look so well invested into um i would think that they probably should have done fixed this a little bit better just from like the director of photography standpoint all she needs is for the grand reception some more beautiful backlighting it's small work guys imagine the level of like house fires that were going on. They're also, they're also using obviously like some type of like black promise filter here, and then these like things that are creating like uh, like streaks in a sense, right? These are maybe like a star filter also. A lot of like special techniques being used here, guys. And when up, it'll be for the people to keep it up. That's my speech. <laughs> Democrats who will vote to abolish slavery, in my opinion, to which no I always listen or pretend to. With all three of my ears. Acts who rejected the amendment 10 months ago will lose. The thing about it is that this time, slavery was kind of going on anyway. Slowly. I wouldn't say that it would have probably ended, you know, at this time in the South. Probably not, right? But the idea of it, like it was starting to lose ground, guys, over, over this time. So keep in mind, Lincoln also kind of flip-flopped a little bit on this, similar to how Obama did with uh, uh, gay marriage. You understand what I'm saying here, guys? He he starts out running one way, and then by the end of it, he just changes his mind, right? Uh, and that's kind of what Lincoln did here. So um, yeah, at this time, it was on the way out, and Lincoln, for the most part, just followed a, a trend here, guys. Kinda. I like our chances now. Ten. Fifty-six. Yeah, that's not two-thirds. We bro. need democratic support. There's none to be had. Buy the vote for the amendment. It's too important. I mean, now you probably could, though, but, you know. I said nothing of buying anything. We need 20 votes was all I said. Thus fulfilling, for the bird at least, his prophecy. There's only yeah. one toll booth in Jeff City to the southwest. Do you know about the proposed 13th Amendment to the yes, Constitution? Sir, everybody knows of it. <coughs> President Bro, Bruce. just back up. Do he's you? he's we saying, look, he's, this man is about to cough a lung out of his mouth, bro. Be fully aware. You don't see what's happening? She just said his emphysema is not really suited to you smoking in front of him. And you're just like, I'm just going to continue smoking in front of him. I'm going to get, matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to get closer to his face. 
disrespect. You know that it abolishes slavery. Jeff said yes, yeah. Congressman Burton? Beam Paul Burton? I mean, Jeff <laughs> Burton. Yes, right. a Republican. Undecided on the... As Preston Blair, can I call on him? Around five o'clock. God help you. God alone knows what he'll ask you to give him. If the players tell him to, Probably. the Republican will bulk at voting for the amendment. Oh. Please. Daddy. There's a kid, bro. Oh, what is it? They taught me a song. Did they? Don't sing the song. <laughs> That's going to be so wild. There's no all manner of songs <laughs> on abolishing slavery unless at the same time we can tell them that you're seeking a negotiated peace. With Jefferson Davis? Nah, bro. Pack that man up, bro. We don't, we don't, we don't need him. Or, <laughs> but I get it. For the, for the sake of the party, there, there'll be a lot of people there. Yeah, I get it. A hundred shells a minute. Till they surrender. Dear God. Bro. Yes, yes. Wilmington's their last open <laughs> seaport. Uh... Wilmington Falls. Richmond Falls after. Yeah, bro, there's going to be nothing left if, uh, if you do that. Emancipation proclamation. You've done all the good The Emancipation expected. Proclamation is merely a war measure after the war. Right, it's not enough. Like Edward Pace was attorney general. It's not he enough. Felt confident different enough lawyers, to allow you different to opinions. It right, you need something that's absolutely going to be concrete. Um, the Emancipation Proclamation was absolutely great for what its uh, purpose was, right? No problem. Um, but there's a lot more. Like saying one thing, but having it like solidified in law, via the 13th Amendment is much more important, right? So yeah, continue on. Three slaves. He <laughs> uh, expects she has killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. If I get over it, I will have revenge. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't see. I decided. Yeah, I don't think the that was The Constitution gives me war powers. Right. Ever have. That what is the source material for this movie, guys? I would love to know, like, where did this screenplay come from? Obviously, it was it was written right by someone, but it was also, but it had to be. I want to know, like, what did they study to get to do this? Because all the other studies <laughs> go against what he just said. It almost doesn't make any sense that that um, that he said that. That's not a real thing. Um, he was not for ending slavery uh like at all like until the end if that makes any sense right but okay I had to see any man free and if calling a man property or now i understand this is a this is a screenplay so this is written for um a very specific reason right but so it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate but if i'm a respecter of states laws how then can i legally free him with my proclamation as i done you need the 13th Amendment. See, guys, come on. Listen, everything's fold, folding into pieces, guys. Not, not, not folding into pieces. Everything is coming together like a puzzle. Might those people I freed be ordered back into slavery? Yes. Absolutely. That's why I'd like to get the 13th Amendment through the House and right. on its way to ratification by the go. states, wrap the whole slavery thing. <laughs> I can tell, bro. I know you like talking. I like talking too, right? So listen, makes sense. <laughs> Just keep talking. Being precisely the sort of dictator the Democrats have been howling about. How? How? So what you're saying is that so the Emancipation Proclamation obviously was set in place to hopefully stop certain very specific things, right? But you know that humans are going to be human. Right, and they're and this, as soon as the this this kerfuffle is over, guys, they're going to be taken right back up and put back onto plantations. You know it. So why are we playing these games, bro? Like, what kind of games are we playing here? So the so by by creating the Thirteenth Amendment, it means Abraham Lincoln is a dictator. No, what he's saying is that this is the end of this very specific thing. At least he, he's saying it's here in the movie. He said it in real life also, but after the abolitionists pushed him to do this in around 1864. Aren't sir, sir, oh, another thing that people were concerned about, um, why they called him Abraham Africanus, was because like in his day-to-day -day life publicly, he never said anything 
or kind of gave hints to anything regarding like his mother's origin or uh, like who he may be secretly, right? Um, and so also what happened is, is that uh, they saw him and how he dealt with like black Americans, right? And he was like the only one at the time that, that was doing, like speaking to black Americans as if they were uh, anything, uh, I guess, more than animals, guys, right? Um, and so that's something that happened. And so a lot of people had like these rumors swelling around this very specific time in history um, regarding it. I've always found all that stuff interesting. Um, I don't really care what he is, right, personally. Uh, but the point is, is that um, there was this underlying thing about him um, and people were seriously concerned that he was a sympathizer because he was secretly black. It's not going to be easy, but we it's trust impossible. You. No, I am sorry. Wait, is that idiom that old? Put your back into it? If so, all right. Wait, no. We you said we all know what he'll do. I don't know. You know he isn't to be trusted. Trust? Oh. Therefore, nothing about you is surprising. Perhaps <laughs> that's why your constituents did not re-elect you to the coming term. Hmm. Your capacity for astonishment. Guys, can we go back to speaking like this? Like to each other? Like this. President's like, never to be mentioned. Like this. No, I mean, right. you're paid for your discretion. Other one. Yeah, bro, everybody is famous. Mr. Bilbo it's just and Mr. wild. Latham that <laughs> we're offering patronage jobs to the Dems who vote yes. Jobs oh. and oh. nothing more. That's correct. Right. But bribes. Le those, those are legal bribes. Don, we get to work. The House recognizes Fernando Wood. Oh, my. The Honorable Representative. I've never seen anyone attempt to get to the contents of a crab in a manner that that man has. That man is a savage. His Highness King Abraham Africanus the First. King Abraham Africanus. <laughs> Let's go. Ruling by fiat and martial law. But you're representing people who take people and then rule them by fear, dismemberment, and, and the removal of families and kids uh, to work for you for nothing and to be sold uh, for monetary gain. Okay. A fix of his oratory, a lethal challenge to our pulmonary people. <laughs> That's how you, that is how you dismantle someone's entire being intelligently. Please, more of this. Can we go back to speaking like this? And I mean this for real, guys. This would be amazing. Shall like, for real. This amendment. The man who, you're only staying a few days. Why'd you pack all of that? Well, I, I don't know how long. Here's one thing. Go tell your father like he's staying for good, Mr. Bro. Nicholas's daddy's secluded with Mr. Blair. Tell him anyway. I went to Richmond to talk to traitors. To smile at and plead with traitors. Well, why would you do that? Because it'll be spring in two months. Okay. The roads will be passable. The spring slaughter commences. Mm. Four bloody springs now. Right. Think Battle of my friend. Start all over again. Whom you take her to your heart. <laughs> that was a good one. What is that? Guys, nowadays it would be so much easier, right? Just just donate to their uh, <laughs> their their organization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'd allowed bleary old Preston Blair to sojourn to Richmond to invite Jeff Davis to send commissioners up to Washington with a peace plan. Uh, I don't know if he did that, but. Promise, do they? You think they'll keep their promise once we have heard these delegates and refuse them, which we will have to do, since their proposal most certainly will be predicated on keeping their slaves. What hope for any democratic votes, Willem, if word gets out that I've refused... I mean, that was the purpose. Uh, you know, all the Confederate states, they... You know, there are people that, um, you know, for some reason recently have been like, oh, listen, the Confederacy wasn't about slavery. Bro, what are you talking about? It's... It's almost exclusively about slavery. <laughs> it's a yeah. chance to end the war. 
it was definitely very well played to have the people that are kind of bringing them and opening the the doors for them and, and things like that just to, for them to see you know uh the these men doing these things guys uh, well played <laughs> <laughs> very well played. That's a very famous image, guys. You drafted half the man in she never goes in the there. reception line is already stretching out the door. Bro, what kind of question was that? See, I'll be the only man over 15, under 65 in this whole place, not in uniform. I'm under 15. Right. What are you talking about? <laughs> that question was crazy, though, guys. It's like asking a soldier, how many people have you deleted, bro? That's a weird question. You, get, you guys, you understand what I'm saying here? That's just a strange thing that, to ask, guys. Um, I understand the inquisitive mind of a child. Um, but, bro. I think they're using candles as like, like small little pockets of visual interest. Uh, because there's literally no reason to have this candle lit at all, other than like a small little pop of of light. If there's this much artificial light, because this is in fact artificial light being shown through these windows, bro. Um, it's also weird because if you look right here, look at the shadows, guys. They're like they're perfectly straight, right? But yet on this side here, you see the god rays kind of coming through, right? Like the overall shadow placement, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, there are two lights here. If this was the sun, it would just be one big one and all the shadows would basically line up. But unfortunately, the shadows are not lining up at all. What's happening here? What's, what's, why is this? Never mind. Let's go. Well, she is dressing them down in public, bro. Right. People love my husband. They move along. To see him by their thousands on public days. <laughs> they will never love you the way they love him. Right. And yet, how important to remember it. The smugness is amazing, guys. I love it. <laughs> now I look about worse without my wig. You are a. Terrible representative, People bro. Elected me <laughs> to represent them, to right. lead them, and I lead. You ought to try it. He is. I admire your zeal. This is it spread from the American South into South America. Oh, yep. Like, listen, I get it. I get. I understand you want to. You're, you want to go straight to the the top of of whatever the the madness is that's causing all these terrible ills in the United States. I get that, right? But. You have to do things strategically, and the way Lincoln is actually doing it um, is the way it should have been done, if that makes any sense. Look how you have longed to say that white people cannot bear the thought of sharing this country's infinite abundance with me. And that response here is similar to kind of what uh, those two people that came about the toll booth, right? Um, if you listen to what the woman said uh, was the issue, that was exactly the issue. Right. Uh, regarding I don't want to have I don't want my husband to have to compete against, you know, all these uh, people coming from Alabama. bro. Why would I want that? That type of thing. That's the overall mentality that I get it. The abolitionist is trying to kind of fight against respect. Absolutely. But that mentality was already baked in. It was already ingrained into the society. So by flipping a switch and saying, all of this is gone in one day, it would cause instant insurrection. Universal enfranchisement? <laughs> Votes for women? <laughs> well, they, guys, they are actually more outraged <laughs> than women. Would, would have the right to vote. They're more outraged than black people. Guys, that's wild. You know, I mean, um, <laughs> the, the level, guys, let me see that again. Hold on, hold on. Guys, it's example. Black people voting, one side is outraged. Women voting, everyone is outraged, <laughs> guys. 
<laughs> calm down. Cal cal calm down. Bless my eyes if it isn't the postmaster of Millersburg, Ohio. If we're not to discuss the truce between warring nations, what in heaven's name can we discuss? That's not a nation. Surrender. Right. You're not a nation at all, bro. Yeah, guys, they're definitely using those those star filters. Or um, it's definitely a very wide angle. Maybe not. Um, it looks like a vintage lens they're using based off of how hard it's flaring. Like here, here. Then the obviously the, the rainbow the rainbow one. Then um, it looks like a star filter. Or they could be at somewhere around like F14, which is plausible, right? So there's something going on with the scene here, guys, that's a little frustrating. The, or this could be added in, like, post-production, uh, maybe. But uh, it's either that they're at, like, F14, um, or there's, they're using, like, a star filter on top of, like, an anamorphic lens or a, like, a, like a pre-1970s, um, like, manual-focused vintage Helios 44M or something. I don't think even Stanton would complain if I pardoned him. You think Stanton would complain? I don't know. I think they're talking about Beaufort, uh, uh, South Carolina, guys. Um, is it South Carolina? Yeah, it is South Carolina. It's the uh, the town where Forrest Gump was filmed. Well, the majority of it was filmed in. Uh, even though they tried to emulate like it was uh, being done. I think that, well, well, how about this? Only one scene, I think, was done in Savannah, but the rest of the movie uh, of Forrest Gump was done in, like, Beaufort, uh, I was there recently. Um, I didn't really see much, uh, you know, historical things uh, like that. Um, there is one like fort on one of the surrounding islands that I did. I did go there. I did photograph it. I was just like, listen. I was coming from Charleston, and I was like, oh, there's something super historical here. So, uh, my my wife and I we stopped at uh, this like super ancient. Uh, not, well, I guess it's not really ancient, but a. Um, like a Civil War fort. Was it a Civil War fort, bro? No, it wasn't a Civil War fort. It was a fort that I think the, the Americans built to fight the Spanish. That's what it was. It wasn't a Civil War fort. Um, but I do know that area does feel super historical. If they're referring to uh, Beaufort, um, South Carolina, uh, basically right before you get to Savannah, there's a town, Beaufort. So I don't know who you're... Uh... Disgusting loss of life or something so... Uh, I, I, I don't want to say it's meaningless, but it's something so, you know, trivial. Hey, Lincoln and the date. Yes, sir. Probably with the hat, he was closer to seven sir? feet. Or above seven you feet. you choose to be born? No, like 6'10", maybe. Maybe. I don't suppose so. No, you can't choose to be born. This was an amazing scene, guys. Someone with his power is still able to communicate very well with people who are who do not have the same level of power. In fact, he takes advice from people that are different from he. He's like, please don't say it. Please don't say it. He's going to say it. Of course he is. He's principled. Endowed by their maker with dim wits, impermeable <laughs> to... Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> Didn't expect that, for him, to be honest, but all right. If ever I was surprised today. He said what he had to say just to get what needs to be done, done. Because he knows exactly the people that he is speaking to. If that makes any sense, bros. Right? Um, so, all right, let's get it. And visited the malaria barges with Mama. She told me she didn't take you inside. I snuck in afterwards. I've seen what it's like. This looks like an nothing. extremely expensive movie. Like, the budget was massive. Not all right, I'm I'm happy to have your company. Like, the set design is amazing. I don't know if it's, uh... No, this is real. Morning, Jim. Hello, Mr. They President. built that set out, guys. Good to see you again. Okay. Who produced Hello, this? Well, boys. Well, first who directed question. It? Getting enough to eat? No, it's not me getting killed. 
Right. I'm completely fine with that. That was well deserved, sir. Congratulations. But yeah, bro, you're not listening. To nothing. I'm commander in chief, bro. I have to do this. You won't. You're not allowed to. I won't be you, Pa. I can't do that, but I don't want to be nothing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. Give him an officer position so he doesn't do anything serious. Or render it intolerable as you choose. Wow. But that's real, though, bro. You're going to have to deal with it. Learn. You're going to have to deal with this. Your kid is an adult. I get it. You don't want it to happen. You have a right to expect what I expect. And likely our expectations are not incomprehensible to each other. They're not, obviously. Because, I mean, we've kind of learned super interestingly with, within time that there is more in common with people in very specific economic situations than there are. Like, it's, it's easier to group people together, unfortunately, based off of economics than the color of their skin. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, because, guys... Look around, I would say. Like, if you live in a neighborhood where you own your house, the person that's across the street probably also owns their house, right? Uh, they can look completely different from you, but trust me, your lives are identical for the most part. Like, your day-to-day -day life is pretty much probably the same. You just may look different. Um, and that's probably a better decider on things than, like, the largest organ on your body. I assume I'll get used to you. I'm not you saying that's still nation. okay, right? But yeah, it's early in the next Congress. When I tell you to do so, you will switch parties. Now, congratulations on your victory, and get out. Now, <laughs> the names whoever else you've been hunting. Oh hell, uh, George <laughs> Yes, Yaman. Well played, sir. On, well now, played. With Yaman, that would count. I see. He's definitely learned to play the game. Y E A M A N. We've managed our members to a fairly well. <laughs> You've had no defections from the Republican right to trouble. He's just planting seeds, guys. Well, so what you promised? Where the hell are the commissioners? <laughs> Blow a kiss at him or something, bro. Mr. Ashley, the floor is yours. We shall hear brief final statements. Brief. Beginning with the Honorable George Pendleton of Ohio. Based on the length that's left, they may. <laughs> Guys, did they actually film this at the White House? Guys? Or did they like rebuild? Guys, there's a lot of things that just uh feel like super accurate to the actual white house like super small finite details that makes me feel like this may have actually been filmed like literally at the white house bro please deliver that to mr ashley <laughs> all right As far as I know, yeah. It, it, listen, he worded it in such a way uh, that kind of gave him a little bit of leeway here. That means nothing. It really doesn't mean anything. Are there commissioners from the South? It is a lawyer's dodge. It really is. He dodged. Mr. Haddam. It. Let's go. Hold that. Let's get I back to the business. <laughs> Uh -oh. Missouri next. Mr. Walter Appleton? I vote no. I said I. Mr. McPherson? Ah! Oh, what? What? Let's go. Mr. Clay R. Hawkins of Ohio. What you got for us? 
What you got for us, bro? God damn it, I'm voting yes. Okay. I don't care, you should be dead. I mean, generally the speaker just lords over everybody, but you know. This is history. Right. Okay. How does Mr. Skyler Colfax vote? He just wanted his position to be put down in history. Respect. Something big just happened, guys. All oh, the bells ringing? Bro, what are you about to do with this? Yeah, that scene was not like extremely irregular, guys. All our traditions be obliterated. We don't know ourselves anymore. Oh, okay. We ain't here to discuss reconstruction. We have Bro. no legal basis for that discussion. <laughs> I don't want to deal falsely. Shall we stop this bleeding? You should. It's now pointless. Even though now the South is going to be super mad. They're going to be super mad now. Outside Petersburg, Virginia. Bro, I truly hope your son is not in here. Yeah, we can go ahead and take that down now, bro. They escape, leave the country while my back's turned. That wouldn't upset me now. When peace comes, it mustn't just be hangings. Yeah, like a lot of them ended up going to like some parts of South America and uh, England and France. When you were a year ago. The presidency some makes everyone bit look old. You always knew that. What this was going to be. Intimate and ugly. You've been itched to travel. Mm -hmm. I'd like that. I mean, sometimes you just have to rail. give oh, your farewell me. respect to the losers. We must, both of us. We've been so miserable for so long. Yeah, I definitely would not call either of them ordinary guys. Is he going to the play now, guys? Yeah, and of course, he's now found a newfound respect for him. All right, guys. I didn't. I did not know that they were going to do this very specific part. But uh, I guess what kind of Lincoln movie would there be without it? The president has been shot. <laughs> they didn't show it. And we already know that um, the wife is, is not good with grief. Obviously, the, the husband's loss would also be equally as uh, detrimental to the mental state of her as if it was her son. All right, so coming from the standpoint of this being a movie, understanding that things had to be, for the most part, embellished to bring uh, people into the movie, obviously, and... Uh, for people to watch it and watch it long, right? Um, oh, Steven Spielberg did this. Okay, that that kind of makes sense now that I, we're kind of looking at like um, uh, kind of like how the movie just looked, how it flowed, everything. I guess it feels kind of like a, like an epic, some type of epic that Spielberg would have probably put out. Because it's definitely more dramatic than historical. Obviously, like, you know, all these events kind of happened kind of in the way that they did, but I think that they they leaned a little bit more towards creating a really good movie than telling the, like, accurate depiction of Lincoln. Nothing's wrong with that at all. Right? Do your thing, right? Um, I know that there are a couple of Lincoln movies that are available, like documentaries and things like that, that um, if you were, if you did want to just know the facts, you'd probably look at a documentary more so than this very specific movie. But it was acted beautifully. The lead actor was perfectly casted. Guys, I didn't know that, that we had basically Lincoln walking around still. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do know that he has like a seven great grandson or something like that that's kind of his identical twin. Um, so, the, but I guess he's not an actor, so that doesn't really help with the 
the issue here now in terms of like filming the filming was great guys uh, like from the beginning to the end i mean there are a couple of like flubs but um these had to be done in order to get like a really good looking shot like you can't just put a gigantic light source outside the window and expect you know just to think expect basically um these lights were to come in equally and absolutely amazingly so i understand by putting multiple lights but throwing off the shadows in weird ways whatever again not trying to nitpick anything here the movie itself was amazing the 13th amendment was a gigantic deal for the united states of america guys i mean because honestly without it like who would have um just completely taken the emancipation proclamation for law if it didn't go deep enough to actually affect the amendments guys you get what i'm saying here guys so like yeah it had to happen um or slavery still would exist in some form or fashion even well how about this even though it was kind of going away it i don't think they would have went away to south though right but i mean it was starting to lose kind of like fashion and form in in like modern life guys it just was so over time who knows it probably would have went away one thing I do want to point out, guys, I definitely wish they would have seriously uh, brought in uh, Frederick Douglass and, and like Frederick Douglass is, uh, uh, you know, the character of him that they would have created, at least, uh, would have played somewhat of a part during this. I don't know. Just a thought. You know, I, I'm not a director, so I don't know. Maybe that was done on purpose. Who knows, potentially. But overall, the movie itself was solid. No complaints here, guys. Um, listen, if you guys want to see the full length of reaction to this movie, it is on Patreon at the second tier. All right? And listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.